Okay, it's 5.02, 5.02 official time, and I'm just booting up my computer, a little bit behind schedule, been a little while since we've done a broadcast, and but this is an emergency broadcast, and of course I'm having some problems with the MacBook Pro, the 10-year-old MacBook Pro, because it hasn't run for a while, and Chrome kept crashing on it, so that was that. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up on the iPad. Give me a moment here. <clears throat> and I don't remember how, how Brianna did this. But she had a trick where she was able to bring it up with no problem. How did she do that? Maybe I click here. Craig Ship. Craig Ship. Okay, okay. Oh, that still didn't work. Oh boy. All right. I'm going to have to go to the old fashioned way. Go to the phone. See if I can pull it up on here and get it in my history. Don't know why. Don't know why I'm having these issues here today. Oh boy. Library. Maybe I go that way. Should show up here that I'm live, folks. It really should. And it is not. Let me see what else I can do here. How did she do that the other day? She did it really easily on the iPad. Let's do it this way. used to come up fine. Why is President Trump risking American lives with dangerous... Now I'm on my channel. Trump is importing socialist price controls and jeopardizing... Here future. it is, live. Okay, Kyle's in the house. Finally, <laughs> finally, I was able to get it up on the iPad. See, all these gadgets, they're all designed for youngsters, okay? That's the issue here. They're all designed for youngsters, and I ain't no youngster anymore. Kevin's in the house. He says, howdy. Carlos is hanging out. He's on his way to Maryland. Maryland. That's good. That's always a good thing. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Kevin says, what's up, gentlemen? We are back. I'm kind of back. I have been um, suffering from what turns out to be allergies. I usually have some allergies in the fall. And usually they last about a week or so and go away. This time it's been three weeks. Now, I did just go to Costco yesterday on my sister's advice, and I got some, some pills to take. Uh, actually, I can pull it up. I have a photo here. <clears throat> she said it takes about five days, really, for them to start working. And I don't know if you can see that. There, It's called Allertech, Kirkland's brand. She says she literally takes one pill every day. 365 pills come in the container. So she says it keeps her allergies under control, and she kind of has the problem year-round. I know I normally did not have the problem year-round. So anyway, I've started taking them as of yesterday, and we'll see if it works. <clears throat> I, I My ears are ringing, and I have a cough, and... Sometimes it gets really bad, and so I didn't want to do broadcasts and be coughing and all that nonsense. And plus, we've been kind of busy with a lot of work. Uh, Brianna has had a couple of viral videos here recently, and so we've been working to try to leverage that a little bit to get her some revenue. <clears throat> and so we've been doing that. And now, with Bitcoin pumping, let me see if I can pull up Coinbase in my browser. Uh, Coinbase Pro, here it is. <coughs> See, there's that cough. It's just a nagging thing. Uh, okay. And my sister's an RN, so she's pretty knowledgeable. 
And when I told her everything that's going on, she like immediately said, yeah, it's allergies. It's the same thing that I have. Now I'm trying to get into my Coinbase Pro account and wish me luck that I can actually sign in here. Oh, two-step verification. Oh. All right, give me a second here because I want to be able to give accurate data here on the show. That's what we're about here on this show is accuracy. There's a lot of shows out there that are inaccurate. They will say whatever they want, right? So 682, 64, okay. Don't ask again on this computer. Verify. Let's see if this works. Authorized new device. Yeah, right. So I, this is not new. What the hell? Authorized? It looks like you're signing into Coinbase from a computer device we haven't seen before. Yeah, you have. But now i got to confirm an email. Oh, for crying out loud, people. People, people, people. Uh, hackers. Hackers should be taken out and shot. They're the ones that cause all these issues, by the way. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that hackers are the one that cause all these problems, you know, being able to log into things or not log into things. So I'm going to say, yes, it was me. They sent a little email saying, was it you? I did the two-factor authentication, right? On top of that, they want me to send an email. I guess it's because they think I'm going to buy a whole bunch of Bitcoin and send it other places, right? Send it to nefarious people. And again, if we just shot the nefarious people, we wouldn't have these problems. Is that, is that radical? Is that a radical position to take? Okay, so here we go. Bitcoin's at 13182 as we speak. <clears throat> so I can make the argument right now that you could buy a decent, not maybe mint, but a really nice condition 18238 day date for that price. Certainly a, a pretty nice 1803. <clears throat> for $13,182. Do you all agree with that? So if we agree that that's doable, <clears throat> then the question is, which would you rather have? One Bitcoin, one whole Bitcoin, at $13,182, or a pretty nice condition, 18238, or pretty nice condition, 1803? That's the question. That's the topic here. That's the topic. Um, Tom says, clocks went back in the UK, so I can now catch the show before bedtime. <laughs> Tom in the house. Uh, let's see. Beuser said, Craig makes a comeback. I'm looking dapper in the Rolex green vest. There you go. Rolex green vest. This is a cashmere. It's really comfortable. And it's a little bit chilly here, so it's nice. Um, let's see. <clears throat> T-Town got the new iPhone 12 Pro on Friday. It's one hell of a handset. I can imagine. I'm sure they nailed it with that one. Yeah. <clears throat> and I hear the low-light photography is amazing. Do report. Do report. I might get one and give Brianna the iPhone 10. Her, her iPhone is broken. And that might be something that we might do. We'll see. By the way, I resized this to my size because she's been wearing it recently and I think I made it one tighter and I'm thinking I might like it on the slightly tighter setting I'm I'm trying to decide it I can feel it's a little more snug before it was just like really light on the wrist I mean it wasn't pushing on the wrist at all right it was just kind of floating there but now it's it's a little tighter on the wrist and a little you know really flush on the wrist right so i'm trying to decide do i like it on the tighter or the slightly looser loose setting what do you guys think the 002 stunner should it be tight or loose <clears throat> and let's see uh Kyle says we should look at some 18238s okay send me some links i've got the uh I've got the browser up here, and I've got my email ready. Let's pin this tab for the email, and I'm going to pin it. I had to 
restart the browser, it was um, bombing out, so had to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Kevin says, one Bitcoin, no question, because says Kevin, he's going for the Bitcoin. What do we think, folks? Is this just a uh, dead cat bounce? Or, or are we going to go back down below 10,000 on the Bitcoin, or are we going to stay above? There's been a lot of bullish news lately. It's a real tug of war between the bulls and the bears. There's been some evidence that some of the whales, the old-time whales, have been dumping some Bitcoin, cashing in. But there are new whales coming into the space. Michael Saylor recently announced that he, prior to buying the, the $425 million worth of Bitcoin for MicroStrategies, his company, prior to that, he bought 17,000 Bitcoin. 17,000 Bitcoin personally. And he claims, he says, that he, he disclosed this to the board when he recommended that, that they take their treasury money and buy $425 million worth of Bitcoin, that he disclosed that he had already purchased it personally. So full disclosure, everybody knew, right, that he already had a dog in the hunt, dog in the fight, whatever you used to call it. But that is pretty amazing that his company, he, he recommended, and they went along with it, that they bought $425 million. But prior to that, he bought 17,000 Bitcoin personally. Now, how much is that right now worth? Let's take a look here. And he bought it below 10,000, by the way. Not much below, but below 10,000. So uh, let me get my calculator, my trusty calculator here. <clears throat> and let's do 17,000 times, let's say 13,000, that is $221 million worth of Bitcoin that he personally bought. He tweeted this out. That's pretty bullish. We already called him the bull, 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 but that's pretty bullish. <clears throat> let's see. If I enjoyed this privilege alone, it shows how ungrateful I am because I got my break through from a post between posted online as well and recommended I saw to all thanks to the good work of Albert. Not sure what that's all about. Not sure what that's all about. Carlos, low light photos are much better on the iPhone 11 than on the 10. I assume 12 continue to improve. There you go. Of course, I don't use my camera that much on the um, on the iPhone. I use real cameras, so the camera it's okay, not big deal for me. Um, <clears throat> uh, G two five two zero one three. You'd be a fool to take the watch. Keep the Bitcoin. He's saying. <clears throat> But what I did, as you recall, a while back when I got the 002 stunner, somebody gave me a hard time saying that you shouldn't be spending $25,000 on a watch. I didn't spend $25,000. I got a very good deal. Didn't spend, 20, didn't spend less price. But anyway, they said you shouldn't spend $25,000 on a watch. You should buy Bitcoin instead. So what I did live on the show, as you recall, is I went ahead and I bought I bought the watch, but then I also bought $25,000 worth of Bitcoin live on the show, just below $10,000, just under $10,000. And then, of course, it went down quite a bit, and people said, oh, you, you turned $25,000 into like $10,000 or something, whatever, you know, let, cut it in half and all this stuff. They were laughing and everything. I said, I'm not selling. So now, of course, we're $3,000 up on each Bitcoin at $13,000, but I'm not selling now either. I could lose it all. It could go to zero, right? Maybe it won't. We'll see. But anyway, so I went ahead and did both, right? Bought the watch and the Bitcoin. That's how you do that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Craig, do you think Bitcoin will rival the global credit card transaction volume one day? I don't know. Maybe they'll do a lot on Lightning, on the Lightning Network. Maybe they'll do use those rails. 
to do a lot of payments like that because it'll be real cheap and fast. Uh, not the you can't do it on the base layer Bitcoin. It's too slow and too expensive. But um, on the Lightning Rails, that's very possible. Could be pretty amazing. Let's see. Derek says, Craig, I prayed for days that you will come on live. <laughs> Finally, God answered me. Uh, pr approximately 221 million. Okay. Yeah, he did the math before me. Smart people in the house. <clears throat> and uh, Derek said, call us to see our Lance, where are you? Yeah, where is Lance? He needs to send some links. Um, there, yeah, and we're talking about day dates too, Derek. Uh, Craig, can I send you some 12 Pro sample picks? Um, yeah, sure, you could. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Why not? Especially if there are watches. Watches. Um, Brett's, I'd like to see how good a job it does taking pictures of watches. Brett's in the house. Bitcoins, without a doubt, November 23K. Whoa. Brett says 23K in November. Typically, November is plus 60%. Wow. <coughs> That's powerful. But, you know, here's the thing. Only short-term thinkers really care what the price is going to be month to month or even year to year. Those of us that are long-term thinkers are thinking about 10 or 20 years from now, what will the price be? And that's a, it's either going to be real high or zero. It's, it's probably going to be one or the other. If, if more and more companies start putting it on their balance sheets, and then if central banks start putting it on their balance sheets... I think this thing will be here for, here for good. I think it'll be around. I think that's very possible. Very possible. Probably, probably a 50% chance at this point. Two or three years ago, I'd have given it a 10% chance. Things have changed quite a bit in the last few years, I think. With people like Michael Saylor, he's a smart guy. I don't know if I'd be second-guessing Michael Saylor. Let's see. Um... <clears throat> if Bitcoin were to rival the transaction volume of all credit cards globally, it would require 13 times more electrical power than the world continues. No, that's not true. The, the Lightning uh, network is extremely efficient and extremely fast. Um, so no, it, it wouldn't um, be a problem if they used Lightning. Uh, Brett's in the house. Uh, we are in October of 2016. <laughs> there you go. A good point. Um, dips are for buying. Uh, Marcus, interesting point. Yeah, again, Carlos, you got to look at the Lightning Network. I think it's very efficient. I think that it can handle huge volumes at very low um, cost as far as energy and as far as cost, cost. Very efficient, especially for small payments. Now, it's not fully baked yet, but it may get there. <clears throat> Let's see. The land center is not reporting for duty. Lang okay. In that case, I'll have to send in an email to Craig. Be a serve. There you go. Brenton House, I'm going to email you something, Craig. There you go. It's hard for us, Rich. Carlos, you should sell your day date and buy Bitcoin. Convert the actual gold for virtual gold. Plus, you can get rid of that white gold while you have the chance. <laughs> Try force rich. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dumping on the whole white gold concept. Marcus in the house. Currently, central banks have been working on their own forms of central bank digital currency. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. That's not going to be limited to 21 million units. Only Bitcoin is the only one that's limited. So it's the only one that's a real store of value. All these other... You know, stable coins and all these other things, they'll just be used for moving money around. They won't be used as a store of value. See, Bitcoin will be the, the, the piggy bank, the store of value. And then all these other things will be used just for moving money around. So you'll convert your, your Bitcoin into whatever, right? Do the transaction, and then 
you know, when you have excess money, you'll convert it back into Bitcoin because that'll be the stable place to keep your money where it will be c continually going up in value as opposed to losing value, which is what all the fiat currencies do. All the fiat currencies, including all the digital fiat currencies, will all always lose money because they're always debasing them. That's what they do. They always debase them. That is what they do. Okay, well, I'm going to check my email. <clears throat> they do what they do. I was thinking about selling some of my GBTC and my um, Roth IRA, but I, I, I was yesterday I was thinking about selling some because I'm way up, right, on my GBTC. And, but I'm like, where am I going to put the money? If I sell it, where am I going to put the money? And I couldn't come up with a good answer. I don't want to buy Apple stock at these levels. I don't even want to buy Amazon at these levels. I don't want to leave it in cash. So I'm like, I guess I got to leave it in GBTC. I don't know. It just seems to be the way things are going. Um, by the way, I got a belt that I might buy that's on eBay. I'll show you guys in a minute here. <clears throat> show you guys in a minute here's a um a stunner picture sent in <clears throat> looks like there might have been a little motion blur maybe not looks pretty sharp looks pretty sharp i'll tell you what it's a good looking piece i like the gold accents <clears throat> i don't think gold is tacky at all i like it I like it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That was, you sort of sent that one in. Here's one from Kyle. Let's see what Kyle's drummed up. <clears throat> oh, yeah, but this one's pricey. <clears throat> this one, we got to wait for Bitcoin to go up a little more. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what, for that price, it better be jumping up and down mint probably is it probably is it's stunning i'll tell you what i like that dial let's stick on that dial for a second here <clears throat> that is a stunner can you imagine buying a daytona for this kind of money when you could get this can you imagine somebody used the term fool earlier and i think could be used again yeah that's a good one but yeah it better be jumping up and down mint for that kind of money but it's a stunner what do you guys think it's a stunner I say may have been worn but has no visible signs of wear they're saying it's jumping up and down. <clears throat> jumping up and down meant. Yeah, I think that's a good play. I think that's a good plan. That's a good plan. <clears throat> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. I'm getting behind on the comments here. Oh, Lamont's in the house. Okay, here we go. I'll have to consider that, I guess. Uh, check your email, Craig. Okay, I did that, Craig. I, there might be some more emails, so I'll check in a minute. Lamont's in the house. He says, word, word back. He's got our back with that wrench. Carlos is in the house. In one week at this time, I will be with Craig and Steve and Little Treasury. There you go. <clears throat> Hopefully we will be celebrating. All right. Word, Brett in the house. We need a day date, Lance, email in. Carlos, you will be in the presence of the, my gods. Once you've seen the O2 person, you will beg Steve to sell you his. You will realize the divine power. I'll tell you what, the O02... <laughs> It's absolutely amazing. I don't know if I should wear this, though, when I go there, because I don't think it's fair. I mean, 
I think that whatever Carlos is wearing, that it, it'll be a gun battle. He won't be able to. Uh, he won't be able to prevail, right? How's he gonna? How's he gonna trump the OO2? I don't know if that'll be fair, but I'll do it. I'll do it because I can. Um, <clears throat> Carlos, will you be picking up a faux pay? I wish my faux pay would come in. Steve won't even tell me. He won't even give me a timeline or anything. It was eight weeks, and that eight weeks is next week. But he hasn't said it's been shipped or anything. I have no information on the faux pay. I have less information on the faux pay than I had on the 002. Remember the 002? I waited months to get the 002. I guess they say good things come to those who wait. I guess that's what they say. Carlos. Oh, you pick up a faux pay. I already read that. Uh, <clears throat> time to sell all the gold and throw it into the real king, <laughs> Brett in the house. Carlos, uh, but finally I will be able to return the Zodiac. There you go. Great service from Steve on that, by the way. Yes, Steve is is all that. <clears throat> well, that's a beauty GS. Uh, da -da -da. I have some used physical Bitcoin. Email me if interested. <laughs> Clive in the house. Uh, Triforce. My wife saw a Steinhardt on someone's wrist yesterday and immediately asked if it was fake. People can tell quality, lol. Good point. Triforce, ask me if it was fake. Yeah. Um, Carlos, uh, looking forward to be in the select group of people who has seen an 002 in person. It is, it is a small group. It is a small group. <clears throat> I think Brett is in that group. I think he's seen one. I think Brett's seen one. I'm not sure. When BTC hits 250K, I'll buy a day date green face. There you go, to celebrate. And what you can do is you don't even have to sell it. That's the good thing about it is you just deposit it with BlockFi and get interest, and you don't even have to sell it. And then you could also borrow against it if you want to. That's what the wealthy do, by the way. They borrow against their assets. They don't sell them. That's how the wealthy get around paying any taxes and stuff like that. They own like an amazing building in Manhattan or something. All they do is just borrow some money against it, right? That's not income. And then they buy whatever they want and so on. And, you know, they, and then the, it goes up in value and then they just borrow some more. I mean... It's the way they do. It's the way the wealthy do it. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Derek says, I sold the Tudor. Someone thought it was an Invicta <laughs> Pro Diver. <laughs> yeah, they're not all that. Trashy Larry says, Chip, where the hell have you been? <laughs> I've been taking some time off. I've been under the weather with these allergies and busy with some projects and some things. Um, and not a lot to talk about, to tell you the truth. If I get the faux pay, I'll have a lot to talk about. I'll be able to talk about the faux pay for a while, right? I'll have something to talk about. Trashy Larry, my life is worthless enough minus the show. Uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> Craig has been hiding in the basement like Biden. <laughs> there you go. Uh, try your email again, Craig. Okay, I will. I'll promise I will. I'm trying to get caught up on the comments here real quick. Craig, I'm wearing the Pepsi in the gym right now. We need to test the O2 in intense physical activity. Good point. I told you if I ever sold the uh, 231, I told you I would drive. The, uh, I would drive. I would wear the O02 all the time. I'd put it through its paces. I would. Yes, I would. I would wear this puppy. And beat the you know what out of it. I think it could take it. I think the spring drive could take it. I think it could take some heavy use. What do you guys think about that? Marcus is very wordy, but not a nefarious actor. Okay. <clears throat> Thoughts on 14060. Send me a link. Send me a link. Craig, Craig Ship, my name, C-R-A-I-G-S-H-I-P-P -P at gmail.com, and we will look at the watch itself, and we'll talk about it. Send the link to the photo. Would not the day-date look a lot cleaner without the day and without the date as well? That would be interesting. 
Day Date does look pretty good, though. <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. Carlos Lamont chasing people with the wrench. Just, just don't do that with police officers. <laughs> uh oh. Um, Lance in that. Where's Lance? I didn't see Lance. Is he in the house? Okay. All right. Let me go back to the email. Email. And then remind me if I can get into eBay. Maybe I'll buy something live on the show. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about that? What do you think about Craig buying something live on the show? Here's a Pepsi. Pepsi getting getting some heavy use in the gym. There's the sample photos. Sample photos. I like it. I like it. Good job. I think those Seikos are cool. All right, here's another photo. Oh, this is too small an image. <laughs> too tiny an image for us to really show. Um, let's see if the other one's bigger. Oh, here's a Rolex. 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 Whoops. I like it. There's nothing wrong with a Datejust. My first watch was a Datejust. <clears throat> Mine had the engine turned bezel and the bracelet was made in the USA. It had one of those oyster, not oyster, it had one of the Jubilee bracelets that was made in the USA. <clears throat> So, I enjoyed it. My first Rolex bought in, I think, 1977 or 78, right around in there. Back in the day, okay? Let's see. Uh, the 14060 is a submarine or no date uh, from about 1990 to 2007. What are your thoughts? I love the no date sub. And I like the case on the pre-ceramic subs much better than the super case i'm not a fan of the super case but if you buy any vintage watch like that just get one that's in as good possible condition as possible right maybe a safe queen if you get lucky <clears throat> be your service in the house craig i went to a bernie rally in los angeles and did not see any nice watches I've been to several Trump rallies in multiple states, and I always see nice watches, including solid gold da Daytonas. Oh, oh. Uh. Craig, your mic is a bit hot. Oh, sorry. Can anybody else confirm that? Can anybody else confirm that, that my mic is a bit hot? My mic is a bit hot. Let me know in the chat if it's hot for you. <clears throat> Let's see. Wow, Steve isn't messing around today. What do you mean? What is Steve doing? Please do tell. Don't keep it a secret. 14060 here, non-ceramic, yes. Okay, so let me see if I can get up. Uh, doesn't seem to be any interest on me buying something live on the show, but I'm going to still try to get eBay up. If I can get logged in. If I can get logged in here. Okay. All right, so this is the piece in question. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to I think I'm going to contact him one more time the seller. I did already contact him and I confirmed that there are no seams in the alligator side of the belt. That's critical, guys. If you want to buy an alligator belt, you want it to be all one piece of alligator. You don't want it to be a, two pieces seamed together or three pieces. And his photos, by the way, are terrible. They're blurry. That's the only one that's sharp. But this is from Neiman Marcus. These retail for about 500 and something. And he claims there are no seams. And that is a brass buckle. His white balance is off on these photos. But he claims there are no seams. It looks like a nice black belt. I already have one black alligator belt. I've got a bunch of brown ones in different shades of brown and so on. A bunch of brown ones. But I only have really one good black one that I like. And I always like to have a backup, right? So let me show you what I, when I contacted him. Uh, let's see. 
how can I get to the messages here? Um, oh, here we go, messages. <clears throat> okay, so I wrote to him, and I asked him if there are any seams. <clears throat> and his reply, there are no seams, it's semi-glossy and supple, my pictures could be much better, it's difficult, blah, blah, blah. So, so I'm going to confirm with him, and also confirm that the buckle is brass, because the white balance really wasn't clearly showing that. So I'm going to ask him one more time, I'm going to say, listen, I'm a player for this, but I want you to make sure there are no seams, because I, I want to con confirm this, because sometimes they're hard to see. Uh, I'm interested... But are you sure about no seams in the alligator? I ask again. Uh, a U S E because they are sometimes hard to see. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send this message. And we're going to see what this guy says. If he if he's adamant that it is no seam, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to pull the trigger. Because I'll tell you what, I was bidding on another belt. <clears throat> and let me show you the one I was bidding on. Really nice belt. I mean, this one's really nice, and the photos are, are good on this one. And <clears throat> you can see here, I've been outbid, and you can see it's up to $256, this puppy. That's about a $500 retail belt, but here's the thing. This particular belt is not available anymore, and the the people that are bidding on it probably know this. They're probably smart enough to realize that this is the real deal and that these are very hard to find. This one um, definitely has no seams. This is, this is the way an alligator belt should be. All right. This is the real deal. Now, it's, it's got a decent width to it, you see there. It's about, you know, one and a quarter inches or so. Real nice width to it. Um, very nice solid brass buckle, excellent condition, no stretching in any of the holes, no, no sign of any issues. This is the real deal. And the bidders on this belt, oh, I'm not showing it. <laughs> Damn. I'm sitting here talking about the belt and I wasn't even showing it. Start over. The bidders on this belt, they obviously know that this is the real deal, right? They obviously know or they wouldn't have bid it up so high. <clears throat> I stopped bidding at like 175. I was like stretching, right? And I stopped at 175. <clears throat> and you can see I'm outbid, right? Increase your maximum bid. No, I'm not going to do it right now. Too many people want this belt. They're going crazy. I mean, it's if somebody pays $300 for this belt, God bless them. Um, if I didn't have any at all, I'd be tempted. But <clears throat> I've got like four or five alligator belts. Again, only one really nice black one that I like. The rest of them are brown, different shades of brown. Uh, <clears throat> so I gave one of my black ones to Brianna. Because it was a size 34, and it still works for me, but it was on, like, the next to the last hole. And she liked it. And when she's wearing her hip huggers, it fits her good. Okay? When the pants are down on the hips, it, 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 it fits. And she likes it. And it was actually Cayman, black Cayman. And it came from Saks Fifth Avenue. And Cayman is not as high-end as an alligator, by the way. 
it's like a couple notches down. Alligator, I think, is the top, in my opinion. Then croc, then caiman. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, the lovely Brianna's in the house. Speaking of Brianna, um, <clears throat> oh, I just talked about Cayman, Clive. Just talked about Cayman. Yes, I have some things that have been Cayman, but again, it's not. It's not preferred. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay, I got to cut. Okay, Craig, have you added? hip-hop producer to your professional resume. <laughs> no, I have not. Uh, Brett's in the house. Craig, are you holding ETH? No, 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 no. No, I would pass on the ETH. I think it, uh, it, it might, the bottom might fall out of that whole thing. I would rather just have Bitcoin, blue chip all the way here. Long-term thinking here. That was a stolen identity. I called it. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, I will ask for asylum and protection to Craig if a civil war <laughs> Dan's calling <laughs> Dan's calling right during the show <laughs> that's great oh boy nothing some things never change um, okay I will ask for asylum and protection to Craig if a civil war starts on next week okay no worries you can come to the to the citadel here and, and you'll be safe Triforce Rich, Craig, you should buy Crockett and Jones live on the air. I've got one pair of Crockett and Jones shoes. I do, I do have one pair. I've got enough pairs of really nice dress shoes. I really don't need more. Yeah, I don't need a lot of this stuff, right? But but one, a black belt, I only have one. I always like to have a backup. I always like to have a backup, folks, of critical things and a, and a Alligator belt is a critical item. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> G-Town. Craig should troll leather belts. <coughs> Craig should troll leather belts also be seamless. <laughs> oh, leather belts that trolls have? Uh, probably not. I, I'm almost out of H2O here. We might need to end the show soon, folks. I hate to tell you this. Uh, let's see. Um, are you sure there are no seams? I think I saw a seam in the picture, Jeepu. Let's take another look, folks. I want your eagle eyes, your eagle eyes to look for seams. Look for seams. Let me try to make this full screen here. Okay. Look for seams, folks. Eagle eyes. I don't see any. I see the, you know, the scales. I don't see any seams. Of course, the photos would not really show it. I mean, you know, it's very hard to tell. And see that, that those are just scales along there. I don't see any sign of an inconsistency where a seam would be. I don't see any sign of a seam there. So, that is a beauty, I'll tell you. It is a beauty. And, and, and see, he's showing the Martin Digman what's on their site right now, their website right now for 525, and that's not an equivalent belt. That, the belt that he's selling, the Martin Digman that he's selling, is a model that's not even available anymore at any price. So, by the way, I didn't get more feedback on the audio. Is my audio too too hot? Is my audio too hot? Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I answered about the Cayman. Yes, I do. That Cayman belt that I gave to Brianna. But yeah, Cayman is, is uh, not a good option, especially for boots. I would not want to go Cayman. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's come to Skype in. Who to Skype in? By the way, Bree is doing a show um, on Thursday. She is doing a show on Thursday. So, uh, and that is tomorrow. Whoa. I was just double checking. So I need a day date, right? 
Thursday's tomorrow. My, how a week gets away from us. And then <clears throat> Brianna's doing some traveling over the weekend. Uh, we're doing some shooting down in North Carolina for her next video. Hopefully her next viral video. She's had three viral releases in a row. <clears throat> singing about Bitcoiners. And the first one about Michael Saylor had more than 600,000 views. The other two have more than 100,000 views. I would call that viral. On Twitter, those views are on Twitter. Crypto Twitter. <clears throat> and Brianna says, I choose Bitcoin. Craig, would you buy stolen Bitcoin? <laughs> Triforce Rich. It's a good question. I'm not really buying much Bitcoin at these numbers. Not buying much. Fortunately, I bought a fair amount back when it was a lot cheaper. Uh, yeah, so I don't need to buy it at these prices. Uh, this belt seems more legit. <clears throat> I sent another email, Craig. Leslie, Leslie says, hey, Craig. Trash and Litter says, is Lance's father still hiring? Well, when he says this belt's more legit, I guess he's talking about this one versus the one I'm thinking about buying, the Neiman Marcus one. Um, yeah, the Neiman Marcus one has about a $500 retail. I think this Martin Digman, this particular Martin Digman, is definitely worth more than the, um, than the, uh, Neiman Marcus one. But the Neiman Marcus one, the gentleman is asking quite a bit less money. So there's that. I think the Neiman Marcus belt is probably a pretty good belt. It's not quite as good a belt as this one. But... I think they're both really good. Let's take another look at the um, <clears throat> let's take another look at the Neiman Marcus belt while we're talking about it. And this is a company out of Georgia that makes these. They specialize in um, making belts out of uh, exotic, particularly alligator. And they, by all accounts, they have a pretty good reputation. And they do select hides that are specifically uh, good for belts. So that would indicate that there's probably not a seam, that the seller is probably correct in saying there's not a seam. But these photos are terrible. Okay, so that's the thing. The photos are terrible, which helps a buyer like me, right? Because there's not as much competition. Other people are probably not willing to bid on it because the photos are terrible. So that can work in your favor, folks. That can work in your favor. It's probably a very nice belt. And Neiman Marcus generally doesn't sell junk. And again, this particular company out of Georgia, they have a pretty good um, reputation. So, yeah, um, it might be pretty good. It might be pretty good. It just might be pretty good. So... First world problems, though, I think, right? First world problems we got here? Is that what we got going on? Megan's in the house. She's all over the place. Uh, Leslie says, Craig, buy something. <laughs> I will right, we'll see if this guy replies to me. And if he does, maybe I'll go ahead and buy this one. You think I should buy that one? That uh, Kleinberg and Cheryl uh, belt? What do you guys think? Anybody want to research that? that maker and uh, let me know should I should I drop penny on this thing it's $159 plus shipping plus 425 shipping so it'd be about $165 in that range what do you guys think a little bit of, uh, they'll, they'll probably throw some tax on there probably $170 by the time it's all done what do you all think talk to me talk to me folks let's crowdsource this um <clears throat> let's see um Sent an email, Brett. Okay, we'll take a look. I meant leather belts made from skins of your defeated trolls. Okay. Is anyone getting fresh air? Hi there, Carlos. Um, you serve. Craig, how do you rate the different metals of timeless razors? I love my titanium one. That's the one I that's my go-to that I use most of the time. I do like the stainless steel, but I'll tell you, I a lot of the people in the forums and all that said do, they, they like the weight. They like the heavier, you know, the stainless steel or the bronze razor because they like the weight. 
I got an aluminum one, and I liked the lightweight. I was the opposite. I liked the lighter weight razor. And that's when I decided to get the titanium one. So right now my rotation is when I'm shaving at the sink, I use the titanium one. When I'm shaving in the shower, I've got the aluminum one in the shower at all times. I, sh I, I, I shave with that if I shave in the shower. I shave both places depending on the time of day I'm shaving and other variables, right? So, um, so I like the lighter weight ones. I like both my aluminum one and my titanium one. The one I like the most, hands down, is the titanium one. Of course, it's the most expensive. Go figure. Go figure. <clears throat> Hurricane season down here in Cancun. Gator over Cayman Clivesters. Yes, of course. Uh, Britt, are you going to Costa Rica? Okay, i got to check the email here in a minute. I'm going to check, I promise you guys. I'm just going to get caught up on these, these messages. Uh, Carlos Bree should do a viral video about Biden family business, but it would be banned. Good point. <clears throat> Craig, who is more attractive, Audrey Hepburn or Kim Kardashian? Well, my gosh, Audrey Hepburn. She's eat up with class. Kim Kardashian, not so much. Yeah, I like the high-class ladies, like Leslie. Leslie's got a lot of class, too. What about Lizard Belt? Lizard doesn't hold up as good, Leslie, as um, either Alligator or Croc. It just doesn't hold up as good. And also, uh, the other thing that holds up real well is um, Ostrich. Ostrich holds up real well. Megan in the house. I love Audrey, yes. Rattlesnake skins as Brett. Okay. Again, snakeskin belts aren't going to hold up as good as alligator either. Megan, uh, go Kim, go Audrey, girl power, woo woo, yes. But, of course, Brianna trumps all of them. Carlos in the house, I have developed a big appreciation for Kim Kardashian after knowing what she did on First Step Back and learning more about her. There you go. <clears throat> Hi, I haven't invested in BTC. Oh, you better, you better get in there. Megan's in the house. Perverse sub. Craig, you need an 18 karat yellow gold razor. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what about the new Gillette Mach 9, Craig? I like double edge uh, raising or shaving. <laughs> shaving. Uh, Brett, uh, the truck is going to be done in two weeks. I don't think I can stay here in Mexico until then. Going to send some pics of the new paint, Matt Black trying to Skype in, but you don't answer. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. Let me get Skype going. I had to reboot this computer, and so there are issues. So let me see if I can get Skype going. Oh, for crying out loud. Now I can't get, um, I can't get this to minimize. This computer has been acting up, folks. It's been acting up. Okay, now let me get, get Skype going. Skype. See if it'll launch and see if it will handshake and see if it will log in. All of these things are ifs. If, if, ifs. Da, 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 da. Microsoft. Talk about a bag of hurt. A bag of hurt. Skype cannot be used for emergency calling. Okay, Skype is up. Steve can call. If Steve is in the chat, Steve can call. <clears throat> he should have called me on the phone and given me a heads up. That's why I have the phone sitting right here. Um, I think Craig needs an 18 karat suit. Suit. You got a Rolex watch. It is necessary to buy one. I'm uh, not sure what that means. Leslie's in the house. Craig sent you an email. Okay, Martin, woman's Martin Dingman belt. Okay, All right, let's take a look. While we're waiting for Steve to call in, we will take a look. The inbox, uh-oh, the inbox is getting backed up. I don't like it. don't like it when I get backed up. <clears throat> There's another day date. Okay. I like the other one, the previous one, better. Of course, it was more money, so of course I would like it. 
All right, let's go back to the email. And here's another one from BPG, but there's nothing there. I don't see anything there. Okay, go on to the next one. <clears throat> don't know what that is either, what he's sending. I have no idea what that was. Okay, so here's the woman's belt on eBay. On eBay... Woman's Martin Dingman, genuine alligator, $25, buy it now? Are you kidding me? New with tags? That's insane. That's an insane price. I mean, even if that has, even if, if that has a seam in it, it's still cheap. Thirty-three inch. Yeah, that'd be great, Leslie. Are you thinking about it? Grab it. If you don't, I will. That's insane. What does it say about the um Awesome alligator with a genuine American alligator, size small, see picks. What in the heck? That's insane. Why hasn't some lady snagged that? For $25? Are you kidding me? How much is shipping? Oh, seven bucks shipping. Uh, that's not great. But still, okay, let me know. If you're not going to buy it, I will. I'll buy it. Okay, I think Coco. Uh, oh, let me send that to my watch list. Add that to my watch list here. Done. And you can even make an offer, for gosh sakes. Are you kidding me? Wow. Somebody should snag it. Snag, 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 I say. <clears throat> How about a suit that has a gold lining like what amounts of gold dust? Uh, there you go. Let's not get tacky here on the channel. <clears throat> is that a fake Steve? Clive Wrangler... No, that is Steve at Leslie. Okay. <clears throat> Carlos, Craig can also get some home decoration ideas about using gold from Trump's part. Yeah, no, I don't want the tacky stuff. I don't want to go on the tacky side. We'll stay away from the really tacky stuff. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Craig, would the Bitcoin that you lost in the boating accident be worth enough to buy a Beverly Hills mansion today? <laughs> That's a good question. Pretty close, yeah. <laughs> Depends on the mansion. There's some really expensive ones there. Depends on the mansion. Where's Steve? And where's Leslie? Is she going to buy this belt or not? That's amazing. That, that price is scary. And it says it's real. Let's take another look. Take another look. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. The photos, of course, are terrible. Which is an advantage to the seller, right? It's an advantage to the seller. Made by hand in America. That's a good thing. No, no, no stitching along the edges, which is nice. It's a glued. It's glued to the uh, steer hide, which usually that'll hold up. It looks kind of neat. I don't mind the ones that have the stitching either. I, I, I'll, I'll go either way. Genuine American alligator. That's the real stuff. No stretch in those holes. It looks, it looks very, very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it would fit, Leslie, would it fit you? I'm sure it would fit Bree. Um, that's a heck of a buy. You know, one thing, one advantage that uh, petite ladies have is, you know, other ladies buy stuff and then they put on weight and so on, and then they have to get rid of the item that they bought because it no longer fits them. And then the petite lady can move right in and buy those things that the other people can't wear. So that's an advantage. That's a competitive advantage. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, emails. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the email. I'm buying the belt, Leslie. Oh, good move. Good, good move. You will love it. I think it'll be cool. I think it'll look great. It will look great. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the truck. The truck getting some work done. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I would say it's getting some work done. Whoa. Good thing he's having it done down there where the labor is reasonable, right? That's a good move. Uh, sent you email. Okay, got, I'm buying the belt. Okay, got that. Let us know. Let us know when you get it. I want to see how cool it is when you get it. Good move. <clears throat> Derek wants to configure a day date. A day date. He wants to configure a day date. <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't blame him. If you got to make the move, make the move. I I don't think you have to configure though. I think I'll show you the one to go for. You find it here. I'll tell you what, Derek probably wants something with a little bit of extra bling. It wouldn't be my taste because I don't like the diamonds, the whole diamond thing. But that would be, I think, Derek. I think that would be Derek right there. Yellow gold. This one's $36,150. I guess that's that price with the diamonds. Maybe not. Maybe the diamonds are even more money. But yeah, I think that would be the way to go for Derek. <clears throat> really quick, easy, easy decision there for Derek. Oh, but I don't, I guess Steve has given up. I guess Steve has given up. Uh, Trashy Larry, uh, Trashy Larry says no fat chicks allowed. Uh oh. Um, 13K and upgrades. There you go. Can't wait to see that thing done. Going to be so good. There you go. It's my watch. Yeah, but can he bring it back into the U.S.? <clears throat> <coughs> Brett says, that's my watch minus the diamonds. There you go. I can't use this web page for Rolex, Craig. Oh, why not? Why not? Craig, you... Uh, Travers, Craig, you look like a super classy barkeep today. Look like you pour a nice glass of blue label and beat the shit out of a rowdy troll. Bree sings in the background. Hey, that, that's quite a picture. Yeah. It's quite a picture. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I think I'd have a, a couple of um, coolers. Remember, remember the movie? <laughs> uh, what was the name of that movie? Um, Roadhouse. Remember that? They had the coolers, right? I think I'd have a couple of coolers that would take care of the, um, the rowdies, right? And I'd only step in if you know, if I had to. The coolers would generally take care of things. Take out the trash, they called it, right? Isn't that what they called it? Take out the trash. <laughs> that's a great movie. If you guys haven't seen it, Roadhouse, that's the movie. Um, <clears throat> Brett, I bought it with Bitcoin at 9K BTC. There you go. Hurts now. <laughs> they, uh, wow, okay. Yeah, anytime you spend Bitcoin, later you think, uh-oh, <laughs> that was a real mistake. I should have spent uh, fiat, right? Anytime you spend Bitcoin, you like you regret it later, I think. <clears throat> there aren't that many people at this point. Now, Bitcoin could take a dive, right? There's no guarantees, folks, in any of this stuff. But... There aren't that many people right now who have bought Bitcoin that are not up in price. Because if you think about it, when it peaked at the, the high of close to 20000 depending on what exchange, it might have hit 20000 that was a very short period of time. And there weren't that many people that really bought in that frenzy there. 
the vast majority of the people have bought at numbers below what it's at right now. The vast majority of people that own Bitcoin have bought below this number. So most people that bought Bitcoin right now are up. Up. Keyword being right now. So, um, Treasurer says, spend it. I can't even buy it. Uh oh. All right. We're going to wrap this up. I guess Steve is a no go today. Steve is a no go. No go today. <clears throat> Should I try to call him? I'm going to try to call him real quick. <clears throat> Where is he? Where is Steve? Here he is. Steve Work. Try to call Steve. Craig, do you think it should be legal to have duels to the death like the old days? Our founding fathers even participated. Absolutely. Yes. Hey, uh, I didn't have Skype. I had to restart my computer and I forgot to get Skype running. Are you? Is it too late for you to Skype in before I wrap up? I can just, yeah, I just have a couple things to say. I'm, okay. I'm not sure my, uh, uh, my headphones are working, but, uh, but I'll, I'll Skype. Okay. okay good. Bye. Yeah. Bye. All right, Steve's going to Skype in. How do you like that? i got to get some H2O real quick. Okay. All right, Steve will be Skyping in. Here he's coming in. I'm answering. Answering. And let me, okay, we got it. visual. Now I get my air, air, earbuds in here. Give me a second, Steve, if you can hear me. I'm not sure. I'm not hearing you. I'm sure they can hear you. Okay. Say something, Steve. Hey, Craig, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? I, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? I can hear you. Testing Craig, one, two. Can you hear me? Testing one, two. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I'm not hearing you yet. Okay, Usual testing. Problem for some reason. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Test, test, test. Hang Can on. you hear Oops. me? Testing one, two. Testing. You got to go into the Skype audio settings and make sure you've got the right audio settings in Skype. Of course, if he can't hear me, there's no way to tell him. Maybe you guys need to type it in the chat. Now I hear you. Okay, you hear me? I can. All right. What do you have? What are you doing? I'm getting along. What do you have for us? Well, let's see. Let me get you up to uh, size here. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so uh, things have been super busy around here. Sorry I haven't been on. And... Uh, what do I have for you? So, little preview. Uh, we have a uh, empty uh, case here that in a couple of days will be uh, filled with another uh, substantial brand that we're bringing on. And I will reveal that when uh, we fill it up. Wow. Hopefully uh, by Friday. That's a lot of space. It is a lot of space. It was uh, required to bring this brand in. So that's going to be sweet. It's going to be a nice setup yep. for them. Yep, yep. I don't think I need these right now. It's a whole new a, brand. A whole new brand, a major brand, one of the top top level. So uh, we will roll it out. And here's another little tidbit I can uh, share with you. What day is the um Roll out. Uh, I had hoped for Friday, but I haven't. Uh, we haven't received it yet. We uh, uh, hopefully maybe uh, tomorrow, and then we'll set it up. 
So, in other words, you so, have to get the shipment of all the watches? Right, right. So, uh, they've, they've gotten all the money. So uh, Tom says, the- space for Tudor watches. I don't think so. No, not Tudor. Yeah, I don't no. think you're going to see Tudors no. in Steve's place. No, but that's all, that's all the hints you're going to get. <laughs> no okay. more hints. Here's something for you. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Where did you get that? Well, I got it. And it's for sale. Is is that the one that I had? Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Sweet little piece. That is. It's on the market. Uh, I'll have it up on the website uh, tomorrow if someone's interested. It's a really beautiful little piece. Well, yeah. And so, and uh, folks, it was previously owned by yours truly. That's right. You in, you imported it. You can't get any better than that. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's going on. Uh, 9F movement. Yep, 9F. And a uh, very substantial piece. And so that's that bit of news. That, that would be it. a nice watch for a lady. It would. Or even a gent. It actually it wears really comfortably. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure you, you know that. Yep. Right? Okay. Yeah, for so, somebody uh, with a wrist of, you know, under seven inches... It would mm-hmm. be great. My seven and a quarter inch, it, it was, you told me before I bought it, that it was going to be a little bit wee, a little bit small. And uh-huh. it was a little bit. I mean, it was still nice. Now, with the 002, it's just perfect, right? Right. Um, but for somebody with a uh, wrist seven inches or smaller, that is mm-hmm. a stunner. Yeah. So. That's quite a surprise that you have that. Was it I taken know. on trade? Uh. Sort of, sort of. Excuse me. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you're you're being real mom on that, huh? Okay. I'm just just holding everything tight right now. Kevin says so, 34 millimeter. No, I think it's about 35, a little, thir- maybe 35 and a half. Uh, uh, I don't have my measurement right at my hand. Yeah, the, there's a different model that's similar to that. That is 34 mil. Uh-huh. that has a different case back, that has the pop on and off case back. And this one has the case back with the four screws. That's the a different model. And this even comes with some extra screws I got from for the fellow who, uh, the in-between fellow. Mm-hmm. So I think he might have uh, opened the case back and uh, wanted some new screws. So it has new screws. Mm-hmm. Really nice piece. So we're getting in some uh, nice other uh, trades. I've got uh, this uh, little Breguet just came in. Really nice uh, 39.5 millimeter Mm -hmm. transatlantic. And we've just got a bunch of uh, nice pre-owns in. We have uh, a number of the Grand Seikos that uh, have been announced recently. I can show them in another show. And uh, today, uh, we got the faux pays, so we need to have a chat. Oh, wow. Well, maybe yep. Carlos can take a look also. Uh, maybe he can. So that's the other nice news, that Carlos is coming to visit uh, next Thursday. And, what about uh, Durr? Can you get him to fly in? I, he hasn't answered me. I told him his... Uh, uh, faux pay is on the way and uh, I wanted him to verify the address and he didn't answer my email so uh, I'll probably give him a call later he might be putting out fires or something yeah yeah. so um, and we'll see what uh, Thursday brings hopefully a peaceful day so it'd be so great if he could join us <laughs> uh huh so anyway his, uh, his one is here as well and uh, so just a lot of interesting things going on at this moment. And uh, Wow, a lot of news. From, uh, Vermont's just releasing some nice pieces that I'll do a setup on and show. And uh, on Friday, uh, Oris is showing their new watch incorporating their caliber 4, 400 movement, which is uh, outstanding. Uh, 10-year service cycle, 10-year <coughs> warranty, in-house movement uh, uh, with a five-day power reserve, and wait till you see the price. 
So uh, they got a couple of comments here real quick. Um, okay. Brett is saying, how much is that? I guess he was asking about the, the gold GS. Okay. Do you, do you have that an asking is, price? We're asking 4150 for that. There you go. Okay. And Triforce is in the house. Steve, my wife has the Soco now. I've bought two GSs and don't really have one. My poor wrist has been wearing Rolex lately. Triforce I'm Rich. Sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Sounds uh, like he needs a send GS. Send in a Rolex. We'll send an appropriate uh, Grand Seiko. Uh, in, in That's exchange. the thing. Yeah, send that Rolex over to yeah, Little get, Treasury. Get, get out of that Rolex. Yeah. But I know the, the wife bought it for him, so he has a lot of... So, but I don't think Triforce is a particularly sentimental guy. I might be wrong, but... Uh, okay, and Kyle that. says, if it had the GS at the top, I would really consider that. Yeah, if it had the 2017 or newer dial, is what he's talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I'll tell you, that's a good-looking watch, I, I, and I have first-hand knowledge of that. Uh, Kyle, I tried on the new GMT pieces at the Beverly Hills Boutique a couple of weeks back, but they were just too thick, I feel. Almost perfect, though. I'll tell you uh, what... That gold 9F is is wafer thin. <laughs> if you want a thin watch on your wrist, I think Kyle. I think that would look really cool with like a NATO or something, and have Kyle wear it. Right. Put that gold stunner on a NATO. Uh huh. <laughs> That'd be pretty wild. Because he's kind of a sporty uh, guy. I see that I'm um, coming in hot. I turned turned the heat down a bit, Kevin. So okay. let me know. And is Steve a Zin, a Zin dealer? dealer? I am not a Zin dealer. Okay. Uh, they have, uh, I think, a single outlet in the U.S. And I think. Oh, Wednesday, it. Carlos says. A oh, Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? The, is Wednesday the day? What is the. The fourth. Is that the day? Is Tuesday election day? Yeah, so the fourth is Wednesday. Yeah, he's right. Okay, what, the fourth. Okay, yeah, we, we're we're on the same page, Carlos, the yeah, fourth. Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> Carlos, maybe you can twist Durr's arm and see if he can come in to town. Okay. So, uh, anyway, we're excited to uh, have Carlos coming in, and uh, uh, you're good, too, uh, Craig, aren't you? Stay for dinner. I'm, I'm planning on coming. Uh, dinner, probably. Um, but I'm definitely planning on coming, mm -hmm. um, and uh, hopefully we'll do a broadcast, correct? Yeah, yeah, we will. Okay. And I ho hope you're feeling better. You're looking a little like you've been through the mill. I am, um, I, I just talked to my sister yesterday, and she has allergies, and she said that's what it is, because uh -huh. she's got the same thing. And I got some pills from Costco, and I took the first one yesterday. And she said it usually takes about four or five days for it to really start working. And right. she says she takes one of those pills every day, year-round. Wow. And she says so. she has no side effects, and it clears up the allergy issue. Well, let's hope it does. And she said this year it's been worse than previous years. Ah. So it makes sense for what... I, all my symptoms and everything line up with that. So right. we'll okay. see in a few days. We'll yep. see, but I'm a lot better today. I'll tell you, I'm not coughing as much mm -hmm. uh, in just one day. The pills are starting to work some. Well, good. Yeah. So stay well. Have you been out walking? Oh, I've been doing all my exercises and regular. everything. It hasn't it hasn't hampered me as far as that goes. I haven't had any fever or anything. I've just had this nagging cough and, and my ears mm -hmm. ringing and, you know, sinuses playing games. Right, right. Yeah. I'm having a bit of that myself, and uh, hopefully it'll go away when the weather gets cooler. Yeah, it's bad this year, for, evidently. So, okay. yeah. And uh, Steve, I'm guessing you got to deal with Breitling. Well, time will tell. On hopefully by Friday, maybe I'll come on on Friday. Is Brianna not on? She's on not on Friday because yeah. she she's going to be traveling. So, um, can you do a show Friday night? I will uh, definitely try to pull one together. Okay, and, perfect. Uh, it's been insane around here. Hopefully, she's uh, going to do a show tomorrow night. 
Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll try to do one on Friday. Perfect. And I'll uh, bring out some of the pieces that uh, I've been mentioning and show Good. them and uh, have some fun. And okay. Cheetown says, I recommend you try arm and hammer, simply saline nasal mist to help your allergies and sinuses in the house. Uh, mm. Is R. Wags in the house? I haven't seen him in the chat. No, I haven't seen him. I haven't either. seen Lance either. <clears throat> And they're missing yeah. an action. Yep, few few folks are not here. Can you show the gold stunner one more time? Sure. <coughs> and this does come with box and papers, as you know. So it's uh, a complete kit. Mm-hmm. And it's a really sweet little piece. Yeah, that it's just a and beautiful case design. The dial is stunning. The 34 millimeter version of that watch always pretty much has the gold dial. And it doesn't uh -huh. look as attractive, in my opinion, as this one. Right. I like the dial on this particular model much better. And it's got a neat little uh, box that comes with it, sort of a velour finish mm -hmm. uh, with Grand Seiko and all kinds of, it's a Japan only model. Mm -hmm. And so it's got all kinds of uh, uh, warranty and other information, uh, uh, much of it in Japanese. Uh, I, if I didn't have the 002, that would still be on my wrist right now. I would think so. I would think so. My wife sort of made a nod oh, you should keep that. And then I asked, really? And she said, no. Uh, <laughs> no, for your wrist, it's, it, you know, you, it, it's yeah. not for, for your wrist. No, I don't think right. so. I think yeah. seven inches or under, it would be ideal. Right. A, a six and a half or six and three quarter wrist, stunning. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Okay, folks. So let's keep it in the family. Someone uh, give me a call and we'll, we'll make a deal. There okay. you go. All right. All right. Well, we thank you, up here. folks. So stay tuned. Steve will be back on Friday. Okay, everybody. Take wall care. to Have wall and treetop tall. I'm out of here. Take care. Yep. Steve, just like that, in the house. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, folks. How can I top that? that that's it. That's the deal. <laughs> that's a stunner. Stunner, stunner, stunner. Um, <laughs> Derek says this is a three-hour tour. Um, <clears throat> okay, we're going to look at the link. What did Blue end up with? That's a good question. That's a good question. I haven't seen him in the, in the chat lately. That's a very good question what Blue ended up with. I'm really surprised that he traded that piece because he seemed really enamored with it seemed like the perfect dress watch for him. So it would be interesting to know what he stepped up to. Uh, I'm looking forward to the news and the meeting. There you go. All right, let me check the email. <clears throat> oh, um, I got a reply. Um... Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, let me go back to my uh, my uh, eBay messages because I got a reply from the eBay eBay seller. It looks like okay. Oh, okay. So he's going to take a look. Okay. This is interesting. I will pull it from inventory tonight, review it very carefully, and try to capture better pictures. Cheers. So that, that's a good thing I asked that question twice about the seams because maybe he was assuming before that there weren't any seams, and now he's going to take a close look. This is why you make sure about these things, folks. Don't take chances, right? Don't take chances. Don't gamble. 
says the guy who owns Bitcoin, right? So, I'll wait for him to check it out and reply. I don't need it. It's a backup piece, right? So, depending on what he says, if he says absolutely there are no seams, Craig will lock and load. And I'll report when I get it. I will report when I get it. Maybe I'll have it to wear to uh, Steve's if I get it and he ships it quick enough. Maybe I'll have it at Steve's next Wednesday. Uh, be a serve. Uh, Carlos says at be a serve, are you purchasing that GS2? Maybe there is still some of Craig's DNA on it. There you go. All right, folks. I'm going to wrap this puppy up. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. And we will be live again tomorrow to be the lovely Lady Bree hosting a show. And then when? And then Friday. Friday, Steve will be back. The Stevester will be back. So that's always a good thing. <clears throat> I gotta pull this up in the studio to wrap this puppy up. Lots of all star DNA on that watch. I would not discard a recent DNA mutation as the reason for issues with the clones. Uh, take care, folks. Okay. All right. So let me get in the studio here so I can wrap this puppy up. <clears throat> Wrap, 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 wrap it up. Derek says wait. <laughs> he always says wait. We're going an hour and a half, folks.